Many Palestinians have suspected for years that Arafat may have been poisoned. Now they're finding out there could be proof of it. The Palestine Liberation Organization says the discovery of traces of radioactive poisoning on some of Arafat's clothes and toothbrush is strong evidence. It wants to know what killed the former leader. So an international investigation committee is a must and we want to do it first through the Security Council and we hope everyone cooperate with us because we seek the truth and nothing but the truth. Al Jazeera's investigation took Arafat's belongings to the University Centre for Legal Medicine in Lausanne, Switzerland. High levels of radioactive material, polonium, were discovered. But scientists say they need to carry out more tests on Arafat's body before the traces disappear. The PLO says it wants the body exhumed within days, not weeks or months. And the Palestinian Authority gave this statement. There are no religious or political reasons that prevent or impede research in this issue, including the exhumation of Arafat's body by a reliable and trustworthy medical and scientific authority following a request and approval from his family. Arafat's widow says she's prepared to help the Palestinian Authority get the approval quickly. After what the Palestinian Authority announced today, it will be rapid. And I asked them uh, that they would do a rapid uh, exhuming because uh, the doctors, uh, the scientists in Switzerland said that they, we have to do it very quickly. Mm. If not, maybe we lose uh, the possibility to find uh, uh, polonium uh, in sure. his body. But not everyone wants Arafat's body removed. I'm against exhuming it because it's clear to the Palestinians and the Swiss labs there's no need to analyze the body. It's already known that he was poisoned. What's to gain? Palestinians think Arafat was a hero. And all of these years after his death, they still want to find out what it was that killed him. And most importantly, who was behind it? Nicole Johnston, Al Jazeera, Ramallah.